We'll now add a green screen clip to the scene. We'll load the same clip as the front and the mat and use the mat layer to pull the key inside action. Zoom out to see the entire frame. Load the first trumpet layer. Click New Media. With the red cursor, choose the trumpet center clip as the front, and then select the same clip again to choose it as the mat. The image looks a little strange now in action, but we'll address this issue with the keyer. We'll access the keyer from the media layer and key the green screen clip. Double click the key field on media 2 layer. In the keyer, select the master keyer. To define a key color, click on the color pot. Then with the cursor, drag from a dark green to a lighter green in the image. From the view menu, choose the matte view. Under the keyer settings, set the sampling to patch 1. The default is sampling matte. Zoom out to see the entire frame. Hold down Ctrl and drag on areas of dark gray to force them to black. This creates a black patch. Switch back to the result view. You can shrink the mat a little bit if necessary. Press the shrink button and set a value around 0.6. We have performed a nice key on the layer, but the green screen does not fill the entire frame. There are elements that still need to be removed from the mat. To fix this, we are going to use a garbage mask. Click on the G Mask tab. Go to the last frame where the trumpet is up in the air. Click Add Geometry to create a mask. Now you are in Create mode. To add the first point, click and lift the cursor. Then continue to tap around the talent to add more points. To close the shape, click on the initial point or press the close button. Now look at the matte view. The white and the black parts are wrong. We obviously need to adjust the mask. Enable the outside button to fill the outside of the mask. Now drag the color value from 100% white to 0% black. Now the trumpet player is the only visible object in the shot. Switch back to the result view. Scroll the shot and adjust the mask over time if needed. When you're done, click on the Return button to go back to action.